Hey everybody, uh, doing a little work on my Better Half's uh, 06 TW200, and I thought I would take you all along for the journey. I have found some electrical gremlins that need to be addressed, and I wanted to talk about what caused it, what the symptoms were, and uh, what I'm going to do to fix it. Um, so let's start with the symptoms. So this bike would occasionally, um, she'd be riding it down the street, hit a bump, it would stall. Or... Um, Go up a hill, it would stall. And, you know, around a corner, it would stall. And it was really kind of weird. And, uh, you know, initially, from based on what she was telling me, it sounded a lot like fuel. But I didn't think it was. But I ended up taking the carburetor parts to check it anyway. Um, put a, uh, you know, reset the float height. Put a, uh, put a new float valve in and all that. And, of course, it didn't fix it. I kind of didn't expect it to. But um, it was electrical, obviously. Um, so ends up being that this connector right here underneath the tank was the, the cause of the issue. If you reached up underneath the tank and jiggled the connector, you could actually make the bike stall. And it would just hard cut and stall. So what caused this connector to go bad? Well, I personally think it's the design of the connector. So Yamaha puts this kind of connector all over the motorcycle. They are not at all water resistant. Um, they're completely open. And, uh, you know, water can get right in them from a number of different ways. And it might just stay there and cause corrosion. And that's what I'm seeing. I kind of think Yamaha did us a disservice not putting waterproof connectors on this bike. You know, especially one designed to go in the mud and get dirty. Um, you know, stuff like that. So, but here's what I'm seeing. Um... Yeah, take a look at this connector. You know, it's got some nice, some nice corrosion in here from moisture and electricity together. Um, so this one, you know, is definitely uh, could be cleaned, but you know, it definitely has some corrosion on it. But what ultimately ends up happening is these connectors fail. Um, these are all good for right now, but this side is not. So if you notice. Um, this one here has a little tab in there, and that little tab, when you put the two connectors together, gives you a nice positive connection. Well, this connector right here, that tab is gone. It completely rotted off. So when you put those connectors together, it just wiggles. You can wiggle it this way, you can wiggle it up and down, and it can cause an intermittent condition, which is what this bike was seeing. Now. I will say that this is not my first rodeo on this motorcycle with this exact problem. This is the clutch switch. It did the same thing. This is the um, the kill switch and the start button did the exact same thing. And uh, now this one from the key barrel has done the exact same thing. So what am I going to do to fix it? Well, there's a couple of things that I can do here. A few ways to fix it. Way number one, which is definitely out because I don't want to... I don't want the expenses to replace a whole entire wiring harness. Um, I could buy a new wiring harness, replace it, and it'd probably be good for a number of years. But wiring harnesses are very costly. Um, I don't know what the current cost is today in 2023, but I'm sure it's in the hundreds of dollars. So I'm not going to do that. The other thing I could do is I could replace these terminals right here. Um, you know, I could buy this terminal. Um, I know I can get them from uh, cycleterminal.com and I could put this back together just the way it was from the factory and call it a day. I'm not inclined to do that either because um, honestly, it's just putting this back together and it's just going to fail again um, at some point. So I really don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is do what I've done for the rest of them, which is uh, replace them with, uh, you know, Japanese motorcycle style waterproof bullet connectors now these are another thing that i bought from cycleterminal.com um, not a sponsor or anything like that but they sell these and you can buy them in you know quantities of like 25 50 100 um both the male and female ends they come with the with the um insulating jackets and all that and uh you know good quality they seem to work really really well you could probably find these on amazon and stuff like that as well um, Yamaha uses the 3.9 millimeter bullet, which is what these are. Um, 
They also make a three and a half millimeter that some Hondas use. Uh, but Yamaha uses the 3.9. So if you're going to buy some of these, buy the 3.9. Other things you'll need to do this job are a crimp tool. This is an open barrel crimp tool. Uh, you can't use a regular crimp tool on this. You need an open barrel style crimp tool that'll crimp both the, um, the wire connection. If you look at these real close, there's a connection right here at the wire and then there's this end over the insulator that actually gives it some strain relief. That's an open barrel style crimp. You need a, the right tool for this job. Um, and this is the right tool. So you can get these right off Amazon. That cycle terminal guy sells them too. Um, I think I bought this one on Amazon. It was like 35 bucks. The other thing that I'm using to get these connectors apart is this guy right here. This is um, a... Uh, meant for like Molex connectors and all sorts of connectors that have these locking tabs. You slide it in there to depress that little locking tab, then you can pull the connector apart. And I can take them apart damage free. And, um, you know, that's the other thing that I'm doing is I'm going to go through every other connector, you know, of this style on the motorcycle. You know, some over here that I've already done. Um, I am completely removing them apart, taking the, uh, taking them completely apart like this. And, uh, cleaning every every bit of this with uh, a couple of things with a wire brush as well as this stuff right here which is electrical cleaner um, a couple of them had like this one underneath the seat had very very mild corrosion you could it was just beginning to start so just a hit of this was enough to make it go away i didn't have to pull the connectors apart but some of the ones behind the headlight i have had to uh, i've had to pull apart and uh, and clean man you know both mechanically and with this spray and uh, this spray, I was able to get it, like, um, I think this came from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And uh, I think, you know, AutoZone, a place like that, will sell it to any good auto parts store will have it. Um, but the third thing I'm doing, in addition to cleaning or fixing, is this stuff right here. Um, this is an Amsoil product. It's a metal protectant and moisture displacer. And, um, you know, it's an anti-corrosive spray. And I'm spraying those connectors down with it to um, keep them from corroding again. Now, I like this stuff. Um, you know, why did I choose Amsoil? Well, I have a lot of familiarity with it. I like their products. So I've used them quite a bit. And I've used this particular product quite a bit on boats. Um, you know, I have uh, was a tournament bass fisherman for a number of years. I spent a lot of time around boats and water. And this stuff, I used to, to hit my fuse panel with it and uh, never had corrosion issues when, uh, you know, before I started using it, I did. I had to replace a fuse panel because of it once. And after I started using this, never had a problem with it again. So, um, you know, that's my Amsoil commercial, but there are other products in the market that do the same thing. So if you need an anti-corrosive spray, just do a little research and you can certainly find one. I'm sure there's ones you know available at the uh, auto parts store or others that you can find online. But um, that's going to be my ultimate fix is one, to clean things, and two, to put a preventative measure in place. And then obviously the ones here that are busted permanently, I'm going to um, I'm gonna fix you know the right way and just uh, put a good connector on there and be done with it. Um, now one thing I will note, these bullet style ones, Yamaha uses these in other places on the bike, and I am not seeing this type of corrosion issue with this type of terminal. So I'm pretty sure when I replace this, this is going to be a permanent fix because I'm just not I'm just not seeing these in other places on the bike. Whereas every one of this open style has had some level of corrosion in it, no matter where it is on the bike. So um, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm not going to take you through the actual repair. It. Uh, Pretty simple, just crimp on the new connectors, connect them together and call it a day. Um, you just have to be careful with what wire goes to what when you plug it all in. Yamaha did a pretty good job on this one because it sometimes one of the things that they like to do is the wires will be one color going into the connector and another color coming out of the connector. Um, these ones are all happen to be colored the same. You know, like there's a blue and white, uh, blue and yellow, sorry, that connects to the blue and yellow. The red goes to the red, the brown goes to the brown and the uh the blue and brown goes to the blue and brown so it um they did a pretty good job on that one 
but um, other connectors they haven't. So you kind of got to pay attention to what you're looking at and maybe do them one at a time so you don't get the connectors crossed up. But, um, you know, that's it. And if you uh, like to ride in the in wet conditions like we sometimes do, definitely pay attention to these connectors because you may end up with a situation like I do where you're having to deal with this type of stuff. So um, that's all I got. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns, hit me up down uh, down below. And hope you have a great day, and I appreciate you watching.